Hello everyone and welcome to my True Crime Tarot Night. This one is uh, a little bit upsetting. I am not going to go into what has happened per se. So it's not going to be like my previous cold case. Okay, um, but let's get some energies around these cards as I just uh explain where we're going now i'm not going to mention the person okay his name is not worth being spoken of what i will do is put on the screen how he's being portrayed okay by uh censored media that he's a school kid and he was uh doing a doctor who thing on bbc he was working with children um yada 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 he is not that person. Uh, at the time of reading, he, if he's not 18, he will be 18 very, very soon. By the end of August, he will be 18. Okay, he is an adult. He is not the person that that media is trying to portray who he is. And I'm so glad that that judge did actually say to release the name that I will not say. Uh, I, will, I don't condone anything and I'm very, very sad and my heart goes out to the parents. Um, however, where I'm going with that is that I do believe that there is, because of the sense that it's been white, at first we could actually find out that his father um, was uh, involved uh, as an asylum seeker, I believe, um, some sort of diplomatic thing. They did go into hiding. He's also very the father and and this the alleged person that's you know been arrested. Um, they have a lot to do with martial arts and whatever. Uh, I, I'm not too sure if he's protected or not. And um, I think there's a lot of conspiracy out there. When when the governments and it's pretty obvious that the UK government or the UK press are doing that, they are suppressing. Uh, this is exactly the kind of thing that uh, the gruesome twosome want. They want to suppress any sort of um, any sort of news uh, that you can find, and then conspiracy theories start. So you know, um, let's just see what the cards can can say. Um, I think there's a lot of propaganda that's happened and has created the the riots afterwards. Okay, so oh. Okay, suspicious activity on the internet. Well, hostage or trade? Oh dear. Hostage or trade? Media or social media? Freedom, domestic violence, and abuse. Yes, yeah. Uh, it's exactly what I thought. Sadly, um, the internet is being wiped, it's being manipulated, the censorship has already kicked in over this uh, person. Uh, this has created a tirade, literally, not just trade, but a tirade. Um, I think it was all to do with his inner feelings. He wanted freedom, so to speak. Um, I do believe there was a lot of violence at home here. And uh, I'm, I'm getting this. It's not saying home, but I'm getting this because it's domestic. So to me, I'm saying this as home, so to speak. Um, I think there was a lot of violence. I think that also has a lot to do with the kind of sports that they, they were involved in. I think it went past that. Um, this freedom thing has got a lot to do with where they come from. I believe um, there are asylum seekers from Rwanda. Um it's been covered up. There's a suspicious activity, definitely. Uh, it has been covered up. It has been censored. And that is, yeah, covered up. Covered up or tampered. Okay, there we go. There we go. DNA evidence. Oh, okay. World end of situation. Mm. This is them escaping. Oh, uh, putting an end to where they come from. This is the parents here. I'm not blaming the parents, okay? Um, I'm just trying to let people know that they can't find and understand this kind of person. Um, and, and, you know, I'm not even condoning the riots, but 
because of the media censorship. It's only going to get worse. And this is what everyone, the left, not so much the right, but the left need to realise that if you start hiding things, if you start covering up things, if you start tampering with evidence, DNA, a footprint on the internet even, is also, believe me, DNA. It's your IPP, isn't it? It's your tracking. It's where they track. Um, you're just going to get more rights. You're just going to get, you know, you need the freedom of speech. You need the freedom of speech. And I think this is where, one moment. And I think this is where, as we're going more and more into, into the world, you know, to 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 bury to bury things, you know, end of the situation. The freedom of speech is the end of the situation. Uh, okay, so deed or poison, exposed secrets. Please find me. And no, too much want to talk. Okay. Well, I wonder if I wonder what what this this person that's been arrested is going to say. Um, sorry. Or expose secrets. There's possibly a good chance that he could expose secrets. Um, I think mentally, not making excuses, but mentally, what is happening, not only with the censorship, but also it's poisoned people's minds, okay? Um, the domestic violence has also poisoned his mind. Um, there's a good chance that certain things may be said. Uh, within the domestic side of things. I'm not too sure where we're going with please find me. If they are referring back to the good schoolboy that obviously had some sort of connections to be able to get into the BBC and do what he's doing, all right, then what went wrong? Rhetorical question. What went wrong? You know, 10 years later or eight years later, or even seven years later, depending on how old he was when he was on the BBC thing, what went wrong? Okay, inside job taken out. Mm. Ring masker organised. The chariot vehicle or moved. Person is known. I had to get away. Um, what I'm getting from here is that there is a heavily father influence here. This is not the father card, but we've got a ring master, organizer, um, and inside job taken out. Um, something happened. Something happened. Maybe, like I said, he knew too much. I don't believe for one minute that, you know, the parents told him to go and do anything. Please don't get me wrong. I do not believe that. Um, but there is some sort of heavily influence here that, you know, something happened. Something went wrong. Um, the person was known. Uh, I do believe that uh, the police knew him. I do believe that. Um there was reports he used to take a knife to school or something. Something happened. He may, has, may have even been expelled. He was um, very, very radical on his beliefs on what he was saying, allegedly, entertainment purposes only. Um, the fact that uh, you've got the chariot here, it's about speaking the truth. Uh, the fact that uh, we've also got no too much want to talk carrying over, there's a good chance that he... This, this perpetrator, the um, person that's alleged to have done it, uh, he's going to spill the beans on a lot of things that, you know, may not be favourable for the ringmaster. Um, the father figure possibly, I'm not getting the female here. Um, and he had to get away. I, I, I don't see that as... As an excuse to do anything, I really do not, and especially the horrendous things 
um, something clicked, something mentally clicked for that kind of thing to happen. But I will carry on. But when it comes to the riots, ah, here we go. Yeah, here we go. Good, 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 good. Thank you, cards. Thank you, cards. Thank you. I wanted to not concentrate on that person because obviously, allegedly, you know, it's not going to bring back those poor darlings, but it has caused from censorship, it has caused riots. It has caused riots. It has created propaganda. It's a mass not true face. It's a web of lies. There's an innocent involved. Well, yeah, they were. They were. Um, powerful person involved and a missing piece. I think the missing link is going to come out in court. I think the person who did it, there's going to be things, but will it be censored? Pro possibly, depending on the laws in UK, possibly it could be censored. But where I'm going here is that there's going to be a web of lies. Um, they may, they are, or they have been, talking mainstream media here, they have been actually, or at the time when it happened, portraying him as a school kid, an innocent school kid, right? It's a web of lies, which I already proved at the beginning. Um, I think they're going to build up the case. Go there's going to be a very, very powerful person involved. Again, this time I'm getting the father figure, but there is a missing piece. Okay, so I might just do that one more time to see if we can get some sort of missing piece because these riots... Um, and, and, you know, all the violence that's happening in UK at the moment it was just something that was boiling. It was at a boiling point. Um, kept in the dark with the hermit. So we've got a major card car coming. Uh, cannot see clearly, missing piece, cannot see clearly. Did not go to plan. Person of interest, there is a connection. Um, with the person of interest, there is a connection. I strongly um, I strongly believe it's got something to do with the father figure. Oh, a father figure. Um, what did not go to plan was the censorship. Cannot see clearly here is the censorship about the person of interest. It did not go to plan. The public were kept in the dark and all of a sudden their name was released and then all hell broke loose, literally. Okay. Um, this reading, despite the fact of the horrific things that that it's behind, was something that was to a boiling point anyway. And if governments want to censor are going to start censor or are going to, you know, produce a web of lies. It's going to be horrific. It really is horrific. The press have to be clear. They can't just cover up things. They can't just change the narrative and and try to bring something out that is is you know is not is not correct or try to make people think that a horrendous crime started this riot. It didn't. Well, it did sort of, right? But there's been a lot of problems. It has been brewing. This is not the first riot. It won't be the last riot. But the cover-up was so blatantly obvious on how they were portraying and this is censorship gone wrong on so many levels. And the cards are saying this. You cannot see clearly. It did not go to plan about the personal in, uh, person of interest. The public was kept in the dark. And they still are. So, yeah. I will leave it there. Sorry. I will leave it there because it's horrendous. 
is horrendous. What's happening on the censorship and is horrendous of what happened in South Gorth as well. Absolutely horrendous. Um, I send lots of love to everyone who are grieving and the families and my heart goes out to everyone involved and I really, really hope that, you know, the, whoever comes, the, the media come to their senses and stop this censorship. You can't stop the freedom of speech without consequences. It's been proven in history before. Why are we going back? Why are we going backwards? Allegedly, entertainment purposes only. And on that note, I look forward to seeing you next week on my new case. And I'm going to sit to Wednesdays because why not? Just seems like a good idea. Okay, please like, share and subscribe. And thank you again for joining me on another True Crime Tarot Night. Bye.